spew outrage as the media, political pundits, and talking heads are all aflutter this morning with claims that President Donald Trump's language and demeanor on Monday summit in Helsinki with Russian President Vladimir Putin was somehow treasonous. The summit is being billed as the hash treason summit on Twitter came just a scant 72 hours after the Department of Justice issued its unsourced and suspiciously timed indictment of 12 Russian officials for hacking the DNC despite having never even laid eyes on the DNC server. The Dodge indicts 12 Russians that will never stand trial just one business day prior to President Trump meeting with Putin. The mainstream media goes into overdrive cranking out propaganda hit pieces like New York Times veteran employee. Employee Charles Blow's Sunday op-ed Trump, treasonous traitor hours before the event even took place, President Trump and Putin held a joint press conference and pointed out that both sides are to blame for the poor relationship the countries have, then he declined the opportunity to slam Putin for buying some Facebook ads in the 2016 election. President Trump's position has more or less been that peace with Russia is more important than election meddling, which did not influence the election. America is far from innocent in this process as they have been meddling in the elections of foreign nations for a long time. Perhaps let us simply mend fences and call it today, move forward as two nuclear superpowers and work together. I believe we call that diplomacy, apostrophe. Yet that clearly is not the goal here from Washington. Hillary asks President Trump via Twitter, Do you know what team you play for? Referring to the Trump, Putin summit. My question for Hillary. I dunno, do you? After all, Hillary sold Russia 20% of American uranium after a bunch of people connected to the transaction heavily contributed to her foundation which was approved by a rubber stamp committee under the former Obama administration while Hillary served as Secretary of State. Then just four months later, former President Bill Clinton collected a cool $500,000 in speaking fees from a Russian investment bank during a trip after he and Putin hung out at Putin's private home. Then Putin himself dropped the bombshell at Monday summit where he claims you, s, intelligence agents fueled some $400 million in illegally earned profits into Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign by associates of American-born British financier Bill Browder at one time the largest foreign portfolio investors in Russia. The scheme involved members of the U.S. intelligence community said Putin, who he said accompanied and guided these transactions. Hillary sells 20% of our nuclear fuel supply to Russia. A. No biggie. It's all good. President Trump says nice things to Putin. OMG. I teased reason. Then former CIA director John Brennan called President Trump's performance at the summit nothing short of treasonous yet he himself effectively called for a coup against the president should President Trump give the order to fire special counsel Robert Mueller. Yet in July 2018 Brennan told CNN's Wolf Blitzer at the Aspen Security Forum, I think it's the obligation of some executive branch officials to refuse to carry that out. I would just hope that this is not going to be a partisan issue, that Republicans, Democrats are going to see that the future of this government is at stake and something needs to be done for the good of the future. Brennan openly supported the USSR, voted communist, and supported communist rule over America while Putin was still working as an agent with the KGB. Yet now Brennan wants to tell the American people that President Trump having a two-hour closed-door meeting with Putin consists of treason. How does that work exactly? Senator Rand Paul, Kiar, took to social media to call Brennan out publicly and remind Brennan of his own record, stating, This is coming from the guy who voted for the Communist Party USA candidate in 1976. Give me a break. Then former FBI Director James Comey issued what many may be construed as a call to action against a sitting U.S. president also known as a coup d'etat. Comey tweeted late Monday afternoon after the summit had concluded. This was the day an American president stood on foreign soil next to a murderous lying thug and refused to back his own country. Patriots need to stand up and reject the behavior of this president. Meanwhile, Rep. Steve Cohen, TND who stated he would award the Purple Heart to anti-Trump FBI lovebird Peter Strzok during testimony in front of the House Oversight and Judiciary Committees regarding Strzok's bias against President Trump. Amid significant backlash for his grotesquely disrespectful comments, Cohen tried to walk it back shortly thereafter, stating in an interview with CNN's Anna Cabrera, I regret using the term Purple Heart, I used it metaphorically. 
not literally, I never thought, literally, it should be given to Agent Strzok, to review for the ignorant, the Purple Heart is awarded to any member of the armed forces of the United States who, while serving in any capacity with one of the U.S. armed services after April 5, 1917, has been wounded or KD by an instrument of war in the hands of the enemy and posthumously to the next of kin in the name of those who are KD in action or DE of wounds received in action. It is specifically a combat decoration. This is what this political despot want to award a line disgrace of humanity subpoenaed before Congress to answer for his actions. After the summit, Cohen revealed he meant every word quite literally as he then took to Twitter to call for the military to rise up against a sitting president. Cohen tweeted, Where are our military folks? The commander-in-chief is in the hands of our enemy. Cohen meanwhile makes it a habit to disrespect the very same military that he is calling on to rise up against a sitting president from believe Purple Hearts should go to liars and traitors to sitting down at a Memphis Grizzlies playing with his cell phone during the national anthem, just to review the word of the day is treason. Strictly defined that means, the crime of betraying one's country especially by attempting to KL the sovereign or overthrow the government. Synonymous with words like treachery, disloyalty, betrayal, faithlessness. Treason is selling Putin our uranium. Treason is purchasing a fraudulent dossier which was connected to the Kremlin. Treason is giving billions of dollars to Iran. Putin from the summit. I was an intelligence officer myself, and I know how dossiers are made up, suggesting the steel dossier was fake. Got that? Good. Glad we cleared that up.